I want to thank you for joining me today on Friday, November the 17th, 2017. As we look again at Psalm 119 and today at verse 165. Great peace have those who love your law and nothing causes them to stumble. I believe that peace is a, a result of a right relationship with God. That, in my opinion, is the bottom line of peace. But how do we define it? One word. I think peace is wholeness. It's when all the parts are in the right place. We use terms like calm, silence, quiet, tranquility, serenity. But those really are the results. These are the effects of peace. Peace is when that which is out of order with the Creator is placed in right order or that which is discombobulated becomes whole. God intends for us to love what he loves and hate what he hates. When we are in agreement with God at the depth of our will and being, peace will be the result. Isaiah 26.3 says, You will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on you because he trusts in you. The trust spoken of here is the confidence that God's word is truth. When one keeps his focus on the trustworthiness of God's truth, peace, perfect peace is the result. That's what he says. God's great peace have those who love your law. It's when we have an overabundance of man's input at the expense of God's truth that we lack peace. We observe slanted news reports. We become indoctrinated with man's philosophy and viewpoint, begin to doubt the truth of God's word. The result is discord in our spirit. Selecting a portion of truth always clouds the whole truth. Selecting a slice of news in a second of time without capturing the whole creates chaotic thought. That thought usually misses the mark. It lacks the truth. Unrest results in our spirit. Will God come through? Is God's word true? What if God doesn't really know what is going on? Think about the questions limited viewpoints confront you with. You know, as a parent, when you just have a few facts about the scenario concerning your child, that it can lead to panic. In that instant, you may not measure or think about how God has not lost control. All that matters is your child is in danger. Tragedy is everywhere today. The shooting of 26 innocent people in, in church in Texas would give any of us concern and anxiety. Where was God? Why didn't he prevent this evil person from killing those children and adults? Questions, questions, questions we may not be able to answer, but we will not lose our trust when things do not make sense, God is still God and ultimately God's justice will prevail. See, the last part of this verse says, and nothing causes them to stumble. Even when we're upset or frustrated, we're not going to stumble because great peace have those who love God's law. Matthew Henry has great commentary on this and I want to quote it. Nothing shall offend them. Nothing shall be a scandal, a snare, our stumbling block to them or to entangle them either through guilt or grief. Wow. No event of providence shall be either an invincible temptation or an intolerable affliction to them, but their love to the word of God shall enable them both to hold fast their integrity and to preserve their tranquility. They will make the best of, uh, best of that which is and not quarrel with anything that God does. Nothing shall offend or hurt them for everything shall work for good to them and therefore shall please them and they shall reconcile themselves to it. Those in whom this holy love reigns will not be apt to perplex themselves with needless scruples nor to take offense at their brethren. End of quote. It's a powerful statement. I challenge you to re-listen to it. It is, it is powerful in interpreting what the Word of God says. So I want to ask you something. 
because it says great peace have those who love God's law. Nothing causes them to stumble. Stumble. Have you been developing a love for God's law? Do you believe all of God's law is truth? Have you separated your trust because you disagree with the truth God states? Then I want to assure you of something. If you disagree with God's truth, you will stumble. Peace will leave you and you will never be satisfied in life. Wholeness will be gone. You'll be disconnected from your creator because you do not trust. Great peace have those who love God's law and nothing, absolutely nothing causes them to stumble. Let's pray. Lord, help us love your law because security and strength and hope come from your law. And I praise you that no matter what transpires in life, we will not fall. 10,000 may fall on our side, but it will not happen to us because we love your law. Burn this in our heart by the Holy Spirit today, we pray in Christ's name. Amen. Have a fantastic day because you're hungering and thirsting for righteousness. And it's all found in Jesus. Be blessed.